<sighs> Good morning, everybody. Okay, so uh, today is a uh, better, better look good kind of day. Anytime I come back to the Vancouver area, my first thing to do is text my daughter and see when I can go see her because she's a teenager now and those kind of things, well, as a parent, sometimes you just gotta make an appointment. So we're going to see her today. Here's that crazy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> As you can tell, I think that's Cruz's favorite person. Every time he sees her, he completely flips his lid and can't control himself. His body just does this kind of convulsion. <laughs> it's super, super cute. We're going for a rainy day walk around Bunsen Lake. I'm out here getting completely soaking wet. Look at my jacket. It is soaked. Out for a little walk. And because I love my kid, She's the one with the umbrella. What's it like over there? Is it raining in your little zone? Me and Mr. Cruzy are completely drenched. How are you? Your hair is completely, look at how dry you are. Everything on you is dry. <laughs> this is not fair. Just kick me in the butt. Hey! Woohoo! This has to be some kind of abuse towards elders. <laughs> I mean, even just look at this washroom, like, that feel like such a cozy spot to take a poop. <laughs> yeah. Like, We're back on Vancouver Island. We just jumped on a boat and bada bang, we're here. The reason why we're here though, is I found a shop that I have to go look at. And I think it just, it just might be the one. I don't know. I've been Googling shop on Vancouver Island for rent, shop on Vancouver Island for lease, industrial shop for lease. I've been on Craigslist, Kijiji, Facebook, Marketplace, everything looking for the absolute perfect spot. And I think I found it. I think. Oh guys, it looks so good. Too good to be true actually. Over the last month, I've been actively searching for a headquarters for our YouTube channel, like a home base to launch every adventure from. And we've been searching from Alberta throughout BC and right here on Vancouver Island. I've been online searching high and low day and night, driving through industrial plazas, trying to find the place that just kind of felt right. But looking at the very first shop today, we found the perfect one. What did I just find? Holy crap. <laughs> Look at the size of this place. We need to take a few measurements. We got 10 feet wide by 10 feet tall on each door, which means it will fit the ambulance and more, and also allow us to have a little bit more room to lift the ambulance, put solar on it, roof rack system, lights, that kind of stuff, 10 feet, yeah, that'll do. Holy skylights, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight skylights in the roof. <laughs> Wicked. Here. 
We have a total shop measurement of 40 feet deep by 30 feet wide. That'll work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Scattered all the way around this shop, we have 12 plugs. Look at them all. All over. And then there's this one. I don't know what's wrong with this one. This plug looks a little sad. It's heated. The shop has a heater. It is very well insulated in here. All the walls have been boarded up, so it's not like some of the shops I've seen that are raw insulation and just don't have a very good appearance. It's already got the air hose line. All I need to do is add a compressor. I like this idea. The skylights are a very nice touch. Tons of really good bright LED lights. There is six fixtures in here. I think I found the perfect shop. <laughs> that space in here is bonkers. <sighs> Trying to find something that's at the right price point and something that feels good inside of here, I thought was going to be super, super hard. Not unless the world just lined up all the right energies at the right time and put everybody in the right place. But my friends, this one feels very, very good. When I was first thinking about a shop, I was thinking inside of like an industrial plaza where there's like a lot less rules kind of thing. I've been avoiding looking at places that are on like a private residence like this because now you're dealing with being at somebody's home and I was like, well, what if I have a noisy day grinding at something? I don't want to disturb anybody. So I avoided looking at places that were on someone else's property and just looking at generic industrial shops. A place where, you know, it's noisy around there all the time. And I was hoping to find a shop that had, I don't know, creative people next door that were making something really cool so we all could feed off this amazing creative energy. And then this one popped up. I came by here, I met the owners, and wow, what an absolutely amazing couple. They're just such good people. And we vibed very well. So they sat on it for an entire night. And I'm here right now because I wanted to take measurements and let you guys know that this is officially the shop. The Van City Van Life headquarters where we're gonna be keeping the ambulance and also working on my van and whatever other projects that we do. I want this place to be a creative space. Maybe put some workbenches in the back there. Maybe my Van City Van Life logo or something up there. And a place for us to just... We got a home base. A home base, a place where I can do the little upgrades and repairs and things I need to my van. Maybe a place to keep all my off-seasonal stuff to cut down the weight that's inside of my van. And definitely a place for us to start working on that ambulance and getting that thing all rigged out and fully done. So a lot of people have been asking, <laughs> am I moving into the ambulance full time? The answer to that is I have a shop now. I will probably keep both. <laughs> Did you guys expect that answer? I will without a doubt at this point be keeping both of my vans, both. So now that we've got a home base, we're gonna be signed in here for a year. Hopefully you'll let me keep it for a long time, but we're signed in for a year. And when the ambo is done, I'll have a place to come back and toss my rig and then take the ambo out on some big adventures or whatever we end up doing. I don't know. Maybe I will sell my van. Maybe, I don't know. As of right now, I'm just stoked that we have a space. This, my friends, is the new shop. Wow. And I know you're wondering, Chrome, I don't see a bathroom in here. No, there is no bathroom, but when you start to find places that have those things that you need, you start paying a really big penny for them. And because I live in my van and I travel, that's what I do, that's what we all do. 
We do a lot of travel content videos. So for me to spend a ton of money on a shop and one, I found shops with bathrooms and showers and just loaded up ready to go. But the price point was bonkers to the point that it, it wouldn't make sense to leave the shop, <laughs> you know? And there's times when we're on the road for three, four, five months at a time. So having a shop that's affordable means that we can go away without having this be a massive financial drain. And my plan here with the shop is to make enough content in here on YouTube that the ad revenue that's made on the videos that are filmed in here pay for the shop. That way it feels like I'm not out of pocket for any of this stuff. Does that make sense? But holy crap. <laughs> holy crap. <laughs> we got a shop. It's got some plugs on the outside. It even has an RV plug on the outside as well too. So if you think about the size of this place, my van is 20 feet. The ambulance is 20 feet. It'd be a very tight fit, but I could fit the ambulance and my van on just one half the shop, leaving this as a playroom for crews. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. My thought in here would be put the ambulance on that side, that way it gives us lots of room front and back for anything that we're doing to it or pulling away from it. And keeping the back half of the shop here for work benches, some cabinets, cupboards, tools, and everything else, which is something that we, we need to go shopping, my friends. We need to buy some work benches and some tools and stuff for the shop. So uh, Milwaukee, if you're watching this, guys, we need to talk. <laughs> Do a little brand deal with us, maybe? Maybe kick the whole stuff out? Or anybody for that matter, anybody. Milwaukee would be nice though, but anybody will work. <sighs> and as for no bathroom, I live in my van. That is not a deal breaker for me whatsoever. Because I live in my van, I'm self-contained already for everything that I need while I'm here is in my van. If I need to use the washroom, I just go to my van. No biggie deal, not really a deal breaker. For the average person looking for a shop, that would probably be a huge deal breaker here. Oh, and one more thing. Got a garbage can. And the shop's got running water. Going shopping for this shop is gonna be a little bit fun because this is my space, a very big space. <sighs> I'm kind of hoping these guys let me stick around for a while. <laughs> so let's talk about the whole private residence thing. Because it's on a private residence, this is a private shop. This shop is not open to the public whatsoever. It's my creative space to make YouTube videos and content, and pretty much that's really just about it. Sure, I may have a couple of friends' vans through here once in a while, you know, helping someone put in a roof vent or stuff like that, but other than that, this is not a public shop. I am not a van build company, nor do I have the skills to be a van build company. It's a private shop for me to work on my own personal stuff and keep gear, you know? This might be the time where I get to buy my quad. I've always been dreaming about, you never know. <sighs> when I met the family that lives here, they have a one-year-old bulldog named Biggie Smalls. So Cruzy's got himself a little buddy if the dog ever wanders down here to the shop while we're here. He was so freaking cute. <laughs> But when I met them, the vibes were just good. I met the wife first, he was just on his way here and it just, it just had a good energy, it just felt really great. And then when he came, icing on the cake, just a solid guy and it was one of those kind of times when you know this was just meant to be. They were intentionally thinking of just renting the shop for storage purposes only. Maybe a little bit of a hobby shop once in a while, but storage. And here I am in here using it for more than storage. He likes what I'm doing. He's excited to see the stuff that I build in here. He's excited to see the ambulance progress and to watch it all unfold on YouTube. 
They are actually very excited to be a part of this van life journey of ours. And that, my friends, makes me very excited. Because there's always a hesitation when you do something like this on somebody's property. What if I'm grinding out here one afternoon at lunchtime and we're being a little noisy? You know, that's always the fear when you're doing something like this. This is my hobby shop. When you're in an industrial shop, you can make all the damn noise you want. <laughs> you're in an industrial area, have at it, grind away, do what you need. But here, where the shop is situated, comparative to the house, I think this is a 100% perfect match. We have a shop. We have a flipping shop. Holy shit. <laughs> think of how long it's taking me to walk through the shop right now. I know this is so silly. If the owners are watching, they're laughing at me right now. They're like, are you kidding me, bro? It's just a shop. No, it's not just a shop. I think this is gonna be one fun start to another chapter here on Van City Van Life. I guarantee there's gonna be some super fun content, some very informational videos coming out, and probably some very cool looking build projects. I'm stoked. <laughs> oh heck yeah every damn time at least this time you can't tow me <laughs> what's up weirdo hey weirdo <laughs> I wore my huge thick um they're called heat holders. Oh, probably the best, I don't know if these are wool or not, the best insulated socks I've ever worn. Amazing. I didn't need to wear them today, it wasn't that cold, but it just felt so cozy on my feet. But they absolutely stink. They're going straight in the laundry hamper. Hey, that little puppy I met today, his name was Biggie Smalls. Are you guys gonna be bros? He's a lot smaller than you, so you gotta be careful. Yeah. He's a lot smaller than you, so you have to be a little bit careful. Okay? <laughs> you can't just get up on top of him and hump him too. His name is Biggie Smalls. He's the boss, okay? We may be renting the shop, but he's the boss. That's his yard. We got a shop. <laughs> I haven't felt this good, this amped up in a long time. The last time I felt this kind of excitement is when I dropped the day job, sold everything that I owned and moved into this van and started a YouTube channel four years ago. That's the last time I felt this kind of feeling. And for me, this feels like a new chapter. Like we're jumping off to a whole different realm of van life, a whole different realm of adventure. And I feel like it's like a brand new start, you know? And for me, I'm excited because I love change. We have been doing amazing things. Van life has taken me to so many epic places over these years. It's taken me from being broke and making high interest payments on this van because I couldn't afford a normal loan when we started. It took me through all those months of being broke, just about a year. I think we paid off my debt nine months into van life because I poured every penny I made right back into my debt and we became debt free. And then from there we launched off, turned YouTube into something sustainable that actually gives us a paycheck and allows us to keep moving and move forward. And I feel like this is just the next jumping point to whatever the next four years of my van life and adventure journey is going to get up to. You know, I launched off at the beginning and it got us this far. And now right here, this part of me was like, it's time for change, bro. And I seriously think this shop is going to make great content. 
Lots of great educational how-to and tutorial videos about van life and maybe talk about insulation and do roof fan ins installs and all the things that, you know, I used to talk about on my channel that I just, I don't talk about anymore because my roof fan went in three years ago and, well, it's still there. <laughs> no need to talk about it anymore. Still turns on, <laughs> right? I think this is going to be fun for all of us all the way around. So I'm super excited to see what this changes. You know, what kind of fun and excitement that making this change in our life is going to do in the future for us and content. So I love you guys. Thanks for being along this whole wild journey of mine. And uh, yeah, you guys are about as confused as me when it comes to, hmm, I wonder what's next. I honestly don't know. You're going to have to click back in tomorrow. We'll find out where this whole new journey takes us. Thanks for watching, you guys. And if you have any questions about the shop at all, let me get into the shop and then we'll maybe sit down and make a video and talk to you guys about it because I know um, doing changes like this on a channel usually brings up a ton of questions. So ask away, you guys, and I'll see you soon. Um, yep, that that officially did happen today. Van City Van Life now officially has a headquarters. And I'm pretty stoked to see what happens there what this does for our next uh, our, our, our next chapter of adventure <laughs> oh my gosh i'm still in shock all right guys see you tomorrow for whatever happens